It's true that one of the scariest experience a person could ever be encounter is an anxiety or panic attack. While this experience can be different to different people, it still shares the common symptoms like not having control over your own body. Other symptoms include very wild heart pounding, feeling of fainting and extreme nervousness. It will also sometimes include mild shaking, sudden discomfort and difficulty in breathing. Even though some people might mistake these symptoms to a heart attack, it is not. That is why many people are looking for a way to end anxiety attacks and panic attacks. Listed here are some great tips you can add to your daily routines to have a more comfortable life. Tip 1 The most popular way that people do who are suffering from this disorder is to practice positive self-talk. The people who really wants to end anxiety attacks and panic attacks will sometimes feel ashamed and self-criticize when they experience an episode. And rather than criticizing yourself or blaming other people, you simply need to stay calm and practice positive self-talk so you can fend off terrible thoughts. You should also understand that it is not shameful having an episode and that it should be treated like any other diseases. Tip to the people who really wants to end anxiety attacks and panic attacks must habitually not believe everything that you think about, especially if you are thinking of terrifying and catastrophic event in your life. What would be better is to keep your mind off these kind of thoughts since these are just manifestations of your mind. So if you will be able to practice this and make it a habit, you can significantly reduce the symptoms. Tip 3 The method that most people do in order to manage this disorder is by using ice cubes. If you use ice cubes and put it in the palm of your hands, you will be able to stay calm. Sure it may sound silly, however, this method can divert your attention from the episode especially during an intense one. Using an ice cube will help you think about the discomfort in your hands instead of the episode. Tip 4 Perhaps the best method people can do in managing this disorder is to practice deep breathing. Most people doesn't know that performing shallow breathing usually causes hyperventilation that often leads to an intense episode. So the best thing that you can do is to practice deep breathing every day to slow down this disorder while battling this disorder.